What's up, guys, and welcome back to GTA 5. Uh, last time that we played, we were just running around as Franklin doing some side jobs until we had some, uh, some more major jobs available to us. Uh, so I think we're going to go and head over to Martin Madrazo's house and see what he's got for us because he's always got some pretty good jobs. So, yeah, let me just uh, throw some clothes on and we'll go and hit the road and see, see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today. Welcome, guys. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, God, this car again. At least I did a little bit of work to it, so it's not a complete POS. All right, I'm ho hoping that uh, Martin or Martin, whatever the hell his name is, uh, has a good job for us. Something high paying. Something exciting. The last couple jobs have been kind of, uh, I don't know, mediocre. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. This is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> Well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. That's why we're here, Michael. Our debt was yeah. settled. Come on, this man. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Days. Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Damn. That guy's a real dick. Vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything? Get me on the headset. Ah, they brought me this car again. Wait, is this what I? Yeah, this is what I came in. I try to forget. I try to let it slip my mind. Hey, man, don't honk at me. Damn. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? Fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. 
Damn, how far is this thing? Oh, it's right over this hill here. Get in the van. Oh. That's always good. Alright, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out! Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready! T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I got her. Southwest of the city. Got to shoot Boom. in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. That didn't do it. Boom. Come on. Damn. Boom. Engine's gone. Hey, you see it? Plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? <gasps> that is crazy. That's so cool. Wow. Plane ain't following the road. I gotta go cross country. Woo! This is flight November 9 or Charlie Echo. Our engine number two. Oh no. Wow, that was close. Yep, I'd be dead. Oh no, I don't think so. Get him! Oh, I was all, after all that, I was slowed down by some cacti. Hit any of these rocks. Can't go around the train, gotta go over it. We have no hydraulic systems, no elevator control, very little aileron control. Serious doubts of making landing strip. Need to ditch. Roger, I'm a night of Charlie Echo. You lost your manual flight control system. Pull your flat. Damn. Okay, this guy's going down any minute. Good. Let's hope he'll take out some poor farmer while he's at it. Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, <laughs> true, Phillips country. God, I miss it out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. Losing altitude rapidly. I'm gonna have to bring it down in dirt. God help us. Roger, November 9 to Charlie Echo. What is your step? God. They're in the dark! Zoom. Good. Get the files. And if the cousin made it, take him out. Sure thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. This guy's crazy, dude.
Thank you. See you later. <coughs> Bye. All right, get out of there, dude. Ah. Uh. T, how'd it go? <coughs> fine, just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I gotta take the van. Uh, I wanted to take this Audi. All right. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ugh. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. <gasps> yeah, it's safe to say that I, uh, <laughs> I fucked this car up a little bit. Where is he? <laughs> he doesn't even have to open the door. Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, a piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. Answer fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh no. Oh shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right now, Patricia. She already called shotgun. <laughs> Now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Wow. Boy. It's just me and Chop on the side of the street. Where's my car? I came here on my bike. Try and keep up, little homie. What? Are you gonna follow behind me, Chop? I... Fuck! I want that car. Yes, 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 yes. What an idiot. Get out there, Ryan. I don't deserve homie. to have this car. Oh my god! Oh! Man, shit! Yo, get in, chop. Chop, come on. Shit! Come on. Look at that. I stole this for you, buddy. Okay, now that I've brought Chop back home, I don't know why they would do that to me. I wasn't gonna just leave him out there. I don't know if he goes home automatically. Oh, okay. Hi, right, Chop. Alright. 
You gonna stay home now, dude? Stay. Get on in here. Come on. No, 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 no. No. Go inside. Come on, chop. Come on. Go home, chop. Wow. Yeah, go home. Sheesh. Woo, too close. Yeah, I don't know if Chop goes home automatically or if I have to uh, bring him like that. All right, let's see what's going on with Michael. Michael! Damn, this house is nice. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what Nothing can you say? say? about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! <laughs> Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Damn, Trevor. Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. Might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> you are a good man. What? I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Run. She's just saying what she's got to say, man. Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Damn, what I'll is with her, the okay? suit, dude? Why lady. is everything dirty in let's this go, freaking Ron. place? Good to meet you, Michael. Look at the cockroaches Fucking all over on, the floor. It's disgusting. Ah, oh, Trevor. The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. But Great, let's go. What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I, uh, uh, okay. Well, look, I knew you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards. And Merchandise! I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci! I want country clubs, and a depressed wife with blonde hair, and a hot little secretary! Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia! Whoops. My bad. 
It was like that when I got here. Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the radio. Come on. Get up in the air, bro. Oh, landing gear doesn't come up on this, I guess. Come in! The Merriweather plane's in a holding pattern over Mount Chiliad. Try and keep under the radar. Air traffic's being monitored from the military base. Cargo planes on my 12. We got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we could get a hold of them, oh my god. I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment when you've caught up to them? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald. Let's just get there first. I'm gonna go for it. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, I did it. got four jets, a 200 foot wingspan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm in a crop duster. Shit. This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough. How the hell do they expect me to catch up to this fucking airplane, man? I can't go high enough to get altitude above it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Final warning, divert or you will be grounded. I'm gonna take my chances, pal. We are clear to engage. Oh, shit. You're firing rockets at a crop duster? What's wrong with you? Oh, my good God, of ah! <laughs> <laughs> This guy's crazy. This guy took... Oh shit! Wow. Okay. Merryweather cargo jet ground control. Please be advised of a change <laughs> of destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Swapping radio channels. Over. Ron! Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? We are here, T. Awaiting your arrival. This thing is crazy. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Change course or we will engage. Oh, are you could diddle yourself? Uh, Ron, I've got the fucking Air Force on me. Shit! Gain some altitude. They might not tangle with you up there. We'll see if that helps. Comply immediately. I'm landing at Mackenzie Field. We can discuss this there on the dirt like men. Dude, this is awesome. I forgot about this mission, too. Take down is authorized. Change bearing or we will engage. I don't think you understand. 
understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. Damn, dude. That's some crazy stuff. This is your final warning. Divert now or be engaged. Hey, you wouldn't shoot me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. Uh, I think you might be wrong, Trevor. There's no way. Eagle one, Fox two. Eagle two, Fox two. Oh no! I'm in. Shit! I'm in. Shit! This goose is cooked. Run! 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 You hear me? The engine's gone. You ain't gonna land it. Get out of there, Chuck. You don't know me. I can land this shit. Okay, maybe not. It's not letting me turn. No way I'm landing this thing. Bail out, you Trevor. Shoot. I'll bail. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's awesome, dude. Okay. Well, that was cool. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? Oh, shut up. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, that shit was pretty crazy, especially because uh, if you know anything about me, I'm pretty afraid of flying. Uh, I don't really like airplanes and stuff like that, but... Yeah, that was pretty insane. But yeah, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.